power system operation and control in computer control of power system today we are going to discuss about the energy control center the energy control center has traditionally been the decision center for the electrical transmission and generation interconnected system it provides necessary functions for monitoring and coordinating the minute by minute physical and economic operation one of the primary functions of ecc is to monitor and regulate the physical operation of the interconnected system this figure shows the schematic diagram showing the information flow between the various functions to be performed in an operations control center computer system so it consists of uh, telemetry communication equipment network topology determination state estimator analog measurement signals and uh, automatic generation control economic dispatch calculation optimal power flow and contingency analysis security constraint optimal power flow so this complete system we call it as a energy control center the system gets information about the power system from remote terminal unit rtu that converts the sensor readings and equipment status information into digital signals and send them to the operation center through the communication circuit so the control center can transmit the control information such as raise or lower comments to the speed changer and in turn to the generators and open and close comments to the circuit breakers so the information coming into the control center is breaker switch status indications and analog measurements the analog measurements of the generator output must be used directly by the automatic generation control whereas all other data will be processed by the state estimator before being used by the other programs state estimator so it is a digital algorithm that uses imperfect information from the measurement like voltage and power flow to produce the best possible estimate of the system's true state the collected measurements from various sources like scada phasor measurement unit are processed to filter errors a network model is used to calculate the assumed true state so this process helps to improve the power system observability and provides a real time database for control and dispatch functions so real time operations are in two aspects first one three level control and second one is primary voltage control in three level control turbine governor to adjust generation to balance changing load instantaneous control automatic generation control it's a load frequency control which maintains the frequency and net power interchange and third one is economic dispatch control which distributes the load among the units such that fuel cost is minimum and second control is primary voltage control in that excitation control comes into picture and transmission voltage control using svc statcom shunt capacitors transformer taps etc now we are going to see the functions of ecc first one is load forecasting a very short load forecasting hourly basis short load forecasting weekly medium monthly and long term yearly basis load forecasting can be carried out by the energy control center then second one power system planning generation transmission and distribution third one unit commitment and maintenance scheduling fourth one security monitoring fifth one state estimation and sixth one economic dispatch seventh one load frequency control in addition to control frequency generation within each area has to be controlled in automatic generation control there are uh, major functions like load frequency control economic dispatch will be carried out and minor functions are reserve monitoring interchange scheduling and monitoring and recording the functions the practice of all communication links between the equipment and the control center could be interrupted and still electric service is been maintained so the generator in the system remains synchronized to the transmission network and maintains its existing power output level even without signals received from the control center 
An energy control center fulfills the functions of coordinating the response of system element in both normal operation and emergency conditions. The burden of repetitious control in normal situation is delegated to the digital computer and selective monitoring is performed by human operators. The digital computer is used to process the incoming stream of data to detect abnormalities and the human operators via lights, buzzer and CRT presentations. Many lower level or less serious cases of exceeding normal limits are routinely handled by digital computer. The more serious abnormalities detected by the digital computer may cause suspension of the normal control functions. In emergencies such as loss of major generator or excess power demand by a neighboring utilities on the tie lines may alarm could be detected and the system could enter into an emergency state. Now we will see what are the subsystems in energy control center. The system control functions traditionally used in electric utility operation consist of three main integrated subsystem. First one is energy management system. Second one is supervisory control and data acquisition system. Third one is communications interconnecting EMS and SCADA. EMS CADA which serves the high voltage bulk transmission system and distribution management system DMS and SCADA which serves the low voltage distribution system and EMS and DMS which utilize their own SCADA for different function. So this is a complete structure of the energy control center.